Welcome to Rock Solid Productions, where in this episode, we're going to unbox and review the Nyko portable docking kit for the Nintendo Switch. Hi everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions, and if you haven't already checked out our six month long-term test of the Nintendo Switch, you may want to check it out. But we're here today to address one of the, in my view at least, one of the biggest issues with the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I love the Switch, it's great and portable, although I don't play it portably that often, I play it connected to my TV. The thing is, it's really inconvenient to connect to multiple TVs and move it basically from one room to the next to the next. That's where Nico has come out with this portable docking kit. Now, Nintendo does sell the dock that you see here that my Switch is in separately. They're 90 bucks. The Nico version is $50, almost half the price. So let's open it up, see what it comes with, hook it up, and check it out. So before we open the dock up, let's take a look. It's a compact, fully functional dock with included HDMI and AC power station. So that's nice that it includes everything for you. And looking at the back, you can see here's the dock itself. It comes with the AC cable, comes with the HDMI cable, has an HDMI, uh, HDMI out, which you'd expect, built-in USB ports, two integrated USB 2.0 ports, and one USB 3.0. That's actually nice that there's a USB 3.0 port on here too. Um, like I say, 50 bucks for this guy. So let us open up the box. So sliding it out. And here's the dock itself. Super tiny, really nice. And a little bit of tape on there, yeah, we'll get off. Just stick that there for a second. So here's the dock. The switch will go in in this direction here. And on the back, you have your HDMI out, USB 3.0, 2.0, 2.0, AC in. Nothing on the side, nothing on the side. And interesting to see what this is. This is the backrest storage. Oh. So that, I would assume, probably goes in like so. And it even has a little diagram. So again, this is designed to be portable, so there's a nice place there for you to store it. Also in the box is an HDMI cable, and this is, actually looks like it's fairly long. It's about a six foot long HDMI cable. And then finally, we have the AC adapter itself. And this is a pretty big brick. Very Apple-esque, I'd say, connector where it kind of flips out, kind of like on a smart book. And on the other end, you have your USB Type-C connection for the back of the dock. So it's really nice that they've also kept that the same, too. You do have your user manual that comes included with it. And I believe pretty much all it's going to tell you is, hey, make sure that you put in the backstop. Yep. Now, in addition, let's compare it to the size of the stock dock. So here's the stock Nintendo Switch dock. And on the side, you have two USB ports there. There's your USB 3.0 port there. There's your HDMI out, and there's your power in. So you have all the exact same ports. Look at the size difference. That's a huge difference. And then many people have been concerned about the screens on their Switch becoming scratched up by going in and out of the dock. This, the way it mounts in there, just like so, you won't scratch the face of the dock. So let's hook it up and test it out. So here we have the dock, and really all that we're going to do is we're going to plug in the HDMI output right there, and I have the power cord sitting to the side. We're going to plug that in right like so, and we're going to plug the switch in the top of the dock. And there you can see it pops on for just a moment, just to give me the battery indicator and kind of goes to sleep after that. 
Let's test it out. So here we are at the main menu and I've got my Pro Controller set up ready to rock and roll and we are using our capture device here. Set up is super simple. Uh, let's test it out on... Let's play some Double Dragon 4 because I've been meaning to review this. I mean, so far, quite honestly, I can't notice a difference in the picture. I mean, I'm just looking at the menus and everything, but what I'm concerned about is when you have third-party peripherals such as this, is either get, you get lag or latency, kind of like other controllers may introduce. I just want to see if this has any you know, negative impact on the responsiveness. So we're going to go to the story, and I'll use Bimmy and Jimmy. So as you can see here, the graphics completely after the, the NES style games. Um, play control, very similar to the, um, uh, I'd say the third game, quite honestly. The hit detection is not great on here. It's, Overall, I, I have to admit, I'm kind of disappointed in this game itself overall. Um, looks great, sounds great, just the play is not very good. Um, but I'd say right now, playing through the, the Nico dock, I mean, it's no different than if I had it hooked up to the, the Switch dock. So I'm going to pause and go back to the home screen. Let's try Sonic Mania. Sound is good, audio or the video looks great. I mean, I really don't notice a difference between this and the Nintendo one. Now where this, uh, the test as far as any lag or latency for me will be is when I get into the bonus stage uh, here in a moment uh, that I'll show you uh, whether or not I can get through that kind of like I normally would or if I have any issues. And, and I will tell you, yeah, it's 20 bucks and right now it's a digital only download or, well, any download would be digital only, wouldn't it? Um, but it's a download only game. Um, it's completely worth it. And, and I am not a fan, wow, I'm missing that. I am not a fan of digital download games. I, I'd rather have a physical copy. I'm also not a fan in this game, at least the fact that they have changed the music uh, for like when you've got invincibility from the you know, original theme and whatnot to this new one. Um, kind of wish they would have just kept the old one there, but that's just me being nostalgic. And this is where I wanted to see latency wise, I think I'll kind of feel it a little bit more. So, so far so good. I actually like using the, um, the D-pad for this, I feel like it gives me a little bit more control. Um, one thing that if you're playing this you may not be aware of is you can actually jump while you're in this screen. So I hit the jump button once completely by accident. I'm like, oh my god, I can jump! Ah! That was me on there, but Sonic plays well. Let's try uh, one other game real quick. So everything we've been playing is digital only. Let's play some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because that is an actual cartridge I am playing on here. Again, looks at least the, the intro looks great, sounds perfect. Do a single player, we'll just do one of the Grand Prix. I'm just gonna go through and you know, kind of fly through here. You know, what I'm driving, the course that I take really isn't important. If you're a fan of uh, Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and if you have a Switch, get it. It's outstanding. It's... I would say it's my favorite Mario Kart game. I just want to see if you're all paying attention there as I go backwards on the start. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, I cannot discern a difference between playing through the Nico portable dock and the stock switch dock. Um, 
I, I'm willing to say that it's there is no difference. Um, graphically, it looks the same. It has the same number of ports and everything. Um, for those of you who are worried about scratching your displays and such, this completely eliminates that. And if you just want it, like the reason I wanted this is I wanted to have a dock uh, in my game room here along with in my living room. So if I wanted to play and if, you know, someone else is in the living room and they're watching something or, you know, just wanted some quiet time, I can escape up here to uh, my upstairs game room and not disturb anyone else in the house. So this is, yeah, this works really well. So we're going to pause the game there for you know, $49.99, $50 compared to $90. The Nico portable dock for the Switch works as advertised. It has all the ports that you have on your stock uh, Switch dock, and it doesn't scratch, or, or you don't risk scratching the screen on it, and you're saving 40 bucks. That's, you could buy uh, Sonic Mania and another controller from like 8-bit dough and have you know spent less money doing that than if you were to buy one of the stock docks from Nintendo so definitely give this one a thumbs up it is a great uh, peripheral for the switch I'm, I'm really digging it and uh, I may actually end up putting my stock switch dock up here and putting the Nico dock down in my living room just because of how I can get to the different ports I can charge my um, my pro controller a little bit easier because I don't have to just the routing of the wires is going to be cleaner so um, yeah if you have a Nintendo switch and you're looking for a secondary dock could not recommend the Nico portable charging dock highly enough it works great now if you do have any comments or questions about the Nico charging dock anything on the Nintendo switch or anything in general quite honestly first of all leave us a comment down below we do answer each and every one of our comments you can also email us at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can ask us on Twitter. We're very active on Twitter, too, at Rock Solid Studios. Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions. Uh, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on this video. Uh, every time that someone subscribes to the channel, an angel gets its wings. No, that's not right. Every time someone subscribes to the channel, Mario gets a tanuki suit. Wait, that doesn't sound right either. Every time someone subscribes to the channel, you stay up to date with what we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, especially if you hit that little notification bell. Every time we upload new content such as this here, it'll let you know what we have going on here on the channel. You can also support us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash rocksolid for as little as a dollar a month. You can support the future of Rock Solid Productions. If you are looking for a great spot to pick up retro accessories and controllers you name it make sure you check out castlemaniagames.com thanks to those guys for helping support the channel if you do go to castlemaniagames.com and you do decide to make a purchase use promo code rocks rox10 to save 10 percent on your purchase so here we are with again the nico portable dock for the nintendo switch and man it's it's really awesome i really really like it Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.